Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily animate a texture on any object in your game. So I have this scene set up here, it's something real simple, I just have a cube with material on which has this grass texture attached to it and I have the main camera just looking down at the object. So if we press play in the scene, the texture does nothing on here, it stays still. And what we aim to do by the end of this little tutorial is have this animate in whatever direction we want. So to do that, we're going to do a little C-sharp script. So right click, create C-sharp script, and let's call it scroll text. Uh, we'll start off with two variables initially, which is going to be the speed of what we want to scroll. So let's get rid of the void start. We don't need that. And any notes there we don't need. So let's have public float. Let's call it scroll x and I'm going to make it equal to 0.5. Don't forget the f at the end as this is c sharp. Next one is going to be for the y so public float scroll y also equal to 0.5. So in the void update we'll set two more variables. I'm not going to have them as public because we don't really need them to display in the inspector panel because it's just a formula it'll work out and it'll be the game time multiplied by the scroll speed so it kind of renders it in real time uh, multiplied by the uh, scroll speed that we've set in these two variables just here so let's do um, float offset x equals to time dot time multiplied by scroll x semicolon and the same will apply for the y. So float offset y equals time dot time multiplied by scroll y. So it's also worth noting at this point that we'll be doing this in a 2D environment rather than a 3D environment. You can't really do this using 3D because the texture is simply 2D and Trying to get it to work in 3D would be kind of a bit of a chore, but it works this way anyway. So this is where the magic happens. We need to get component, open spiky bracket, renderer, close spiky bracket, open close bracket, dot material, dot main texture offset. And just note there that material is a lowercase m main is a lowercase m and texture and offset are capitalized so equals new vector 2 open bracket and then we need to state our two offset values so offset x comma offset y close bracket semicolon and save so let's head back into unity and we'll drag this script onto our cube and when we click the cube, we can see that here we have the two variables, which are the speed. So the reason I put these here as public is so as we can change them here. And if we press play, we can see that the object, the texture on the object is animating. And we can change that and change the direction by changing these speeds here. So if we want to, let's say, just scroll on the Y axis, we can change the X to zero. And you can see it scroll that way. Same applies to the Y, so if we put that at 0 0.5, change the Y to 0, we can see that it's scrolling this way. We can increase the scroll speed, so it goes a bit mad. And I say we can change direction quite easily. So if we change it back to 0 on all of them, it stays still, nice and simple. And if we slowly start to increase our Y value, you can see it changing. So if I set this as one and then slowly start to increase the x you can see that it starts scrolling in different directions faster and faster so let's set it to zero and you should be able to have negative numbers as well so minus 0 0.5 would scroll it to the left whereas 0.5 would scroll it to the right so playing around with these numbers is what gives you the scrolling um, direction and speed. So you could always reference they, uh, these particular variables in different scripts, for example. And it's not just um, one particular object. This same script can be attached to many other objects as well. 
Um, one thing to note though, it doesn't necessarily work too well on some objects. Um, if, for example, uh, let's see, what could we do? Let's get a new game object, 3D object, cube. So this is more three-dimensional as opposed to this particular cube here. And if I put on the grass texture on here and put on the scroll texture as well, we can see the same does apply to it. However, it's not quite the same because it's rendering on every side of the, uh, of the cube. So if we go to 3D object sphere, and let's, let's increase the size of our sphere to two by two by two, and let's do the same again. Let's quickly add our texture onto the sphere and add the scrolling script and press play. It gives that effect. It, it gives it effect like it's rolling, but you can always change that. So if we put zero there, it looks like it's bubbling out. So just because this text is scrolling, it doesn't mean to say that this particular object will also scroll. It kind of is, but it gives a different effect as though in this case, something is emerging out the top and bubbling over. So this is a cool effect that you could probably use in quite a lot of games. So that is how you can use a little C-sharp script to make a scrolling style texture on any game object. Guys, thank you for watching.